welcome everybody to Developing a CV, Improving Words and Phrases. Now this resource is designed to support learners to improve the quality of their CVs by modifying and improving their words and phrases. And this is because learners often lack models for how to formulate good sentences and they've been putting ideas down on paper. So this is the point when we begin to refine some of the sentences and support learners to do that. Now a CV can be improved by using language that is increasingly sophisticated, targeted to the audience, industry specific, and efficient. And that's what we're gonna look at as we go forward. Now the sequence for this resource is really quick. Step one is having the learners sit down with their own CV and identify words and phrases that they think could be improved. Step two has two options. A is to generate new words or phrases as a whole class. I personally prefer this one. And step B is to use word lists that we'll also look at as we go on. Step three is one we've covered before. Rework, rework, rework. And the message that we're sending to learners here is that they continue to refine their CV all the time. It's an ongoing process. Now what we have here is the part of a real CV that a learner was putting together back in 2013 and they had been a landscaper's laborer, and this was their original document. So we're just gonna use this and work through it. Now what you do is you give the CV to the learner, their own CV, and perhaps a highlighter, and they would work through and highlight either the phrases or the words that they would like to improve. Now they don't have to think about how they can be improved at this point, but just some key points that they would like to improve. So for example, on this sheet, worked on lots of different jobs, including. The learner felt that that was a little bit clunky. Making a range of fences, including pull, slat, and barrier fences, didn't like that. And so the learner just continued to go through and mark out the areas that they thought could be improved. The learner didn't like mixing concrete or the words digging out and making, sowing lawns and watering them, or planting different types of trees in different places. Step two, generate new words or phrases as a whole class. Now as a whole class, we'll nominate one learner and we'll ask them to select one of the phrases or words from their CV that they'd like to have improved and we'll write it on the board. Now in this case, it was the word make and that's because they'd used the word making repeatedly throughout their CV and they wanted some different options to use and some words that were slightly more sophisticated. So we simply write it in the middle of the board and we ask learners to come up with ideas. So we get the word build, we get the word construct, we get the word assemble, and we get the word create. Now this might be achieved through learners using dictionaries or perhaps they're going online. They may be using synonym finders either on the internet or on word documents and so on. But the idea is that we're generating a whole lot of words. A second way to generate words is simply to use word lists and these are available freely on the internet. For example, if you wanted to find a whole lot of words that were associated with horticulture or planting or landscaping, you could do so. You could also find words that are recommended to be used in CVs, positive words to describe yourself, positive words to describe your achievements. Now coming back to this learner's CV, we're just going to use the top part to demonstrate how changing some of the words can improve the overall feel of the document. Now the learner wasn't happy with uh, several of the phrases, for example, worked on lots of different jobs, including, well, working together, we're gonna to change the word jobs to projects. Worked on a wide range of projects, including, and it just gives it a slightly more professional feel. Number two, making a range of fences, including pull, slat, and barrier fences. The learner didn't like the use of the word making, so we've found other words for making, in this case, constructing, so we can just change it, constructing a range of fence types, including pull, slat, and barrier fences. And now the document is feeling a little bit more professional. In the second bullet point, you can see again, we have the word making gardens, coming back to check on them with a range of features such as boulders or garden ornaments. And here we can see the learner has written down the things that they've done to do with making gardens, but the sentence has become a little bit too long. So we can just rewrite this as two separate bullet points. The first one we're going to change to planting and maintaining gardens. Much tidier and much more professional. And then we can shift to constructing water features, stone gardens and garden ornaments. So we've taken that single bullet point, turned it into two tidier bullet points. 
Here uh, on the fourth bullet point, we can see it's mixing concrete, preparing the area, pouring and leveling. And the learner is trying to inform the reader there that they were able to take total control of the concreting process, maybe with overview from a supervisor, but we want to express this in a more professional manner. Boxing, pouring and leveling concrete. So we've just shortened it and made it tidier. Digging out and making retaining walls, the learner wasn't happy with the use of the word digging out. So we're changing it to preparing for and constructing retaining walls. Sowing lawns and watering them regularly, lawn development and maintenance. And finally, planting different types of trees in different places. Was the learner trying to express that they'd worked in gardens and they'd also planted trees in forestry and bush and scrub areas as well. So trying to express all those things. So we changed it to planting a variety of tree types in diverse environments, urban gardens and forestry. Step three, helping the learners to understand that improving your CV and writing a good CV is about rework, rework, rework. You know, the process begins with a brainstorming session where we're generating ideas and then we're beginning to write a draft. And then we go into the cycle, review and revise, where we continue to work it. And that's what we've seen in this resource where you might select new phrases and new words and continue to work on improving sentences and the overall structure. And then finally, editing and checking it and then sharing it, actually publishing it and using it. So to sum this resource up, step one, Identify the words and phrases that could be improved. You want the learner to do that because you want the learner to take control of this process. Step two, A, you can either generate new words and phrases by using the whole class to do that, and that's always a good uh, activity that's useful for everybody. Or you can use word lists off the internet, or you could use both, of course. And finally, rework, rework, rework. That's getting the learner to understand that uh, they need to continue to work on the CV. It's a living document that they continue to improve all the time. Mm -hmm.